Hello world, my crackheads! In this video, we will talk about a such an important parameter as dead time. Most often it is used in the final stages of pulse converters. This is a special delay at which the off state of all control keys is reached. Without this, the appearance of throws currents is possible and, as a result, the destruction of the keys. Let's consider the programmatic work of dead time. We include the required header file. We turn off the internal clock generator and switch to the external crystal resonator. We configure the PLL modular, configuring internal bus prescalers. We allow the peripherals to be clocked. We configure the lid on the debug board as a push-pull. We configure the pin opter relay as a push-pull. We configure the main PWM channel as an alternative push-pull. A complementary PWM channel as an alternative push-pull. The timer receives clock cycles from 72 MHz. Set the timer tick prescaler and reboot register. Set the prescaler for the dead time generator. We do not use the event repetition counter. Set the number of timer ticks for the high level output state. PWM mode 1. Set up the main channel output and the complementary channel output separately. Attention! The polarity of the channel outputs, both main and complementary, is set to high, but the microcontroller will automatically invert the complementary output. We calculate the dead time. To calculate the dead time, you must fill in the field team dead time. A number is written in this field and the dead time is calculated from it. For manual calculation, four formulas are used. The most significant three bits of a DTG number are checked and when the calculation is performed using all the formulas. Examples for four cases are written in the comments. The break signal is not used as well as the OSSI OSSR bits.
We start the timer and look at the signals on the oscilloscope. This is the signal on the oscilloscope. Nothing is visible yet. Reduced the sweep and the difference between the beginning of the fronts is visible. This is the leading and trailing edge of a pulse with a DTG of 100 and a dead time of 2.7 microseconds. This is the leading and trailing edge of a pulse with a DTG of 255 and a dead time of 28 microseconds. That's all. Use the dead time in your projects. Subscribe, MicroCat.